All right, is a new business in the cards for you this new year? Author and entrepreneur coach Candace Spears is here with five steps you want to take before turning your side hustle into your main hustle. Welcome. I think a lot of people would love to do that yeah. this year. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me, ladies. It is the time to do it, if not ever before, right? Yeah. So let's get right into it. You say step one, you have to get grounded in your intention. You got to really know what you want to do. Yeah. When you think about your intention, right, there may be an intention of, I just want to get out of this job because I just, I just need to do something on my own. There may be an intention of, I just need to make more money and this isn't it. Whatever it is, understand what your intention is so that you can say yes and no to the right and wrong opportunities and not waste time. So what would step two be? So when you think about step two, right, here's where you need to start to think about the financial side of things. So if you're going to go from, I'm in a secure space job, quote unquote, secure job to I'm now going to be out on my own, it, you think about it, the whole financial stability piece is at play. So knowing the amount of money that you need in order to survive on your own, but going beyond that, right? Because you don't want to be in a place where you're now on your own, you're enjoying yourself, but you can't have enough money to do the things that you really want to do. So what's the amount of money that you need to thrive? So knowing both the survive and thrive numbers is really critical. All right, so step three, you say, start acting as if you're full-time now, get branded. You say, even change your LinkedIn profile. That would make me nervous if your boss is looking. Mm. Yes, that makes a lot of people nervous. But the reality is this, there are ways to make those changes in branding that can be very subtle and that can be very freeing for you. So for example, you know, if right now today your title is, hey, I'm, Jane Doe at XYZ Corporation, and I'm the project manager. Okay, that's well and good. But let's say your side hustle is you want to move into a consulting career for, for mothers or something along those lines that makes a difference in people's lives. You can very easily change your LinkedIn profile to say, hey, I'm Jane Doe, difference maker. Something very ambiguous that allows you to still operate in what you do today, but gives you the wiggle room to begin to brand and play in your own space. All right, growing. Speaking of, step four is start finding and making more money. How do you find more money? <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple ways to get into this, right? One of the ways is you look at what you're doing today in your side hustle and just start thinking about, well, how do I grow my reach? I find more people like the people that are already purchasing the things that I offer. That's one way to go about it. The other way, especially if you find yourself faced with, well, this thing that I'm offering, really, I can't scale it to the level where I can make the money that I need. Now is the opportunity for you to start thinking about what other ways can I offer? What other things can I offer that allow me to build on what I've already done? So let's say you're in the, the cooking business and you're, you know, you're, you're selling big goods. Well, look on a couple sides of that, right? You may have people who are interested in doing it on their own. So maybe they need your recipes or you may have people who are like, hey, now can you go and, and cater a whole meal for me? And now you've got a whole catering division. Start testing and playing around with how you can build on what you do today yep. to expand that financial capacity. We're coming to the end of the show, but uh, you have some uh, recommendations. You want people to get inspired versus some podcasts, Ambition, Honey and Hustles, How I Built This. So people can really start listening to, you know, uh, getting that uh, expert advice to really start doing uh, actual things right now. Yeah, absolutely. You need to protect and really push forward what you're listening to, what you're saying, and listen and say those things that energize you towards the journey. Of course, Ambition, Honey, and Hustle, that happens in my podcast. How I Built This is also a great one by Guy Raz. These are the things that give you the energy to say, okay, I'm moving on this full-time path. I can do it. Here's how other people have done it. Let's go. Great advice. Coach Candace. thank you so much for being here. Happy New Year. 